You're watching Krem 2 News at 5. Well, tonight is Charles Rowe's last 5 o'clock newscast as he gets set to retire after 20 years here at the Mighty Two. Yikes. Look how happy you look, <laughs> Charles. A little too happy for us. We're kind of sad hey, around here. Sure. But we wanted to share with you some of Charles's favorite memories here at Crim 2. And no surprise, they involved Charles poking fun at you, What's Tom up Sherry. with that? <laughs> At 5.17, now Tom Sherry, his biceps bulging like Ooh. lumps in mashed potatoes, <laughs> is at the Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena. That doesn't sound so good. <laughs> Did you know Tom is thinking about becoming a professional wrestler? You got that right. Yeah. It's about time. And now we have Weatherman. Oh. What do you guys think here, oh. huh? Boy, you almost scared me, Tom. Well, this is what it is. I've got the, this is the prototype costume I've got here, Charles. I've been a huge fan of the World Wrestling Federation for many, many years. And as you can see, I've got the red cape here, and I've got, nice. uh, you know, it's and Weatherman. Tights, yeah. too. That's right. I'm um, the protector of good, and I'm against evil across the area. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's oh, right. When are you going to start? I'm for warm and fuzzies and not cold pricklies. <laughs> what? <laughs> every good cowboy, especially every good rodeo cowboy, has got to be able to sing to the doggies. You know what I mean by the doggies. So I'd like to leave you now with a little tune. We're going to do it for you right now. And thank you so much for being a part of it. Ooh, thank you for Let's go. Call the cow call. I'll see you later. Woo. Woo. That's Eddie Arnold. That's me singing. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is hilarious. Oh, no, we, we've oh. probably seen that how many times? 30 times. <laughs> it makes us laugh all the time. Funny every time. When, when Tom didn't realize, when, when we first put that on the air, we did cover you with there was Eddie music. Arnold, but then we got we the raw tape. <laughs> It's better with a <laughs> well, we, I used to get a lot of emails, and you did too. And sometimes we have a we have a lot of fun teasing each other. Yeah. Some people say they would actually write it and say, "Don't hurt Tom." Yeah. Lay off <laughs> Tom. Charles, I have to write it. I'm, no, no, we're having a good time. Uh, you probably thought you sounded good on that. Phone <laughs> no, too, I knew so. I didn't. That's why there was music. Well, that's why we like to play it over and over Poor again. Poor Barney had to listen to it. He was, he was closest. <laughs> he was. He wasn't happy. <laughs> well, you're going to want to stay with us for a special tribute to Charles Rowe on his last night here on Crempton News at 5. Up next, Crempton News thanks Charles, including a look back at his time with Ronald Reagan. You won't want to miss this one coming up next. Well, Charles, we've seen some of your favorite memories in this newscast over the last 20 years, many of them at my expense, <laughs> but now we want to share some of our favorites. Oh. And on your last uh, night here on the Crempton News at 5 o'clock, we want to celebrate your incredible career in broadcasting, and thank you, Charles, for your 20 years here my at Crempton. My pleasure. Mm. Live from the Inland Northwest News Leader, Charles Rowe. Before Charles came to Krem, he started here in the small town of Shadron, tucked away in the northwest corner of Nebraska. He joined the Navy right out of school and proudly served his country during the Korean War. After college, he found his love of broadcasting and journalism as a radio newsman, a job that took him all the way to network radio in Chicago. From there, Charles moved into TV news, where he reported and anchored in Sacramento. He often interviewed then-Governor Ronald Reagan, a man Charles would look up to throughout his career. Charles sat behind the anchor desk in Chicago, Portland, and had a memorable run in Los Angeles. That's where he not only anchored the news, but also played reporters for Hollywood films and TV shows. His magnificent turn in the cult classic clear. Blood Beach is Wonder newsroom four. legend. Perfect late summer day, perhaps. But not if this is the beach that you hope to enjoy. Because here, for hundreds of yards... Charles left Blood Beach and went to the Oregon Beach in the 80s, where he owned a radio station for several years. Then he got the itch to anchor again and saw an opening in Spokane. A close call in the skies over California for President Reagan last night. And we dug up his audition tape that he made with former Krem anchor Maureen O'Boyle back in 1987. Vancouver, Washington pilot and his rented plane came within 150 feet of smashing... This tape landed him the job he would hold for the next 20 years. Charles Rule, Krem to News. Charles impressed early with his passionate work ethic, a trait that he carried throughout his time at Krem 2 News. To a meeting with the U.S. You have the most incredible work ethic of anybody in this business. Charles Rowe, 
works harder than anybody that uh, I've ever seen in this business. So Charles comes in and he's here and he's looking at the wires and he's involved in all the stories and he's fighting for what he thinks is right all the time. Charles's passion came out in his constant push to serve creme viewers. You know, the one piece of advice that I really will always remember from you is that um, no matter how hard the business gets or what goes on behind the scenes before we come onto a newscast and do our job, you always told me to go out there and do the best job for yourself and the viewers, and I'll always remember that. That storm dropped about two inches of One snow. One thing viewers will always remember is Charles' leadership on the anchor desk during times of crisis, like Firestorm, Ruby Ridge, Ice Storm, and hundreds of breaking news stories. A ferocious fire ripped through downtown Spokane. Charles' calm professionalism helped bring viewers through other rough times. So tonight, Creme 2 News celebrates you, Charles Rowe, and says thank you. When I first came to work to anchor news at Creme 2 News, it was Charles Rowe, the first one to extend his hand to welcome me aboard. He's a class act, and he's going to be missed. The next generation of the dictionary should have his picture next to the word Anchorman. Live from the Inland Northwest News Leader, Charles Rowe, Marino Boyle, Peter Colford, and Eric Johnson. This is Creme 2 News. Charles, can you believe it has been 20 years since we were on the set together here at Creme 2? Nice to hear that you've had such a happy and wonderful career there. I know it's going to be a fun time ahead for you to retire and to really dedicate yourself to just chilling out. Thanks for all that you taught me, and I wish you the very best. He is just one of those unique characters that you come across in this business once in a while uh, that you never forget, and I've never forgotten him. I've n I tell Charles Rose stories all the time. I run into someone from Krem, and I say, you've got to tell Charles Rowe that I love him. Wow, Charles, we've been together 17 years. You know, that's longer than a lot of people's marriages. I remember when I saw you in Los Angeles, California, when you were anchoring at KTTV Channel 11, and I was in high school. It has been a thrill to work alongside you these many, many years here in Spokane. I hear you're going to the beach. I hear you're looking for a little fishing. So I'll meet you at Depot Bay, and I'll buy the first round. And uh, I just want to say a job well done. Good evening, everybody. You've been a great guy to work with. We've shared a desk right across from each other. I'm going to miss coming into work every day and seeing your smiling face. As you always say, hello, darling, when I come in the door. Um, really going to miss you. Well, it's been a heck of a run. And this newscast, uh, thanks to you, Nadine and, and Tom, over that 20-year period, has been number one for almost that entire time. We only lost two books out of 80. Wow. Oh. That's pretty good. That's yeah. very good, Charles. A lot for teamwork, though. Move the tears. We're well, really going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. You've been <laughs> great. CBS Evening News, coming up next.